On page 12 of your June mail out, at the top of the page, there's an instruction for row one, right side, increase. So you're beginning with purl three turquoise, and then knit one using Barbara. So take the yarn to the back, you then need to cross, so you don't get a hole or a gap, you need to cross turquoise with Barbara yarn. And you do this by taking turquoise yarn over to the left, keeping it at the back of the work, then you knit one using Barbara yarn and pull firmly on both yarns at that point. You're then going to increase knitwise into next stitch and you're going to do that twice. So that's into the next two stitches. So that's knit into the front, again, knit into the front, and then straight into the back of, oh, whoops, do that again. Knit into the front and straight into the back of the same stitch. And then repeat that, so you've done that twice. That's making four stitches out of two. And then you knit two one, two, that will give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Barbara stitches. You're then purling three using garnet. Now it's always important you cross the yarns on the wrong side of the work. So I'm going to put Barbara over to the left, pick up the correct Garnet now. Just need a little bit of untangling here first of all. So I can pick up garnet. Let's have a look. Put these over here. I can see garnet here. I've just got to find the bobbin and make sure nothing else is caught up when I cross these yarns over. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Okay, and I can see there then that that's cleanly, nothing else is going to get caught in that crossover. So Barbara at the back, pick up garnet, so it comes over the top and you've got to bring it round to the front to purl. So they've crossed at the back, bring it round to the front, one, two, three, stitches purled using garnet. Always take the yarn to the back before you cross it. So needle into the next stitch. So I'm just going to wind up this bobbin to keep it nice and short. Place that over to the left. Now I've got to find my coral bobbin and make sure nothing is caught in the crossover. Okay, let's just get hold of that there. What I also like to do is any bobbins that I've used, I put them over this side of the needle, so they're kind of out of the way there. So I, so I don't need those for the rest of the row, so they're kept to one side. Okay, so here we go then. Um, knitting, I've crossed over the garnet over to the left, which then enables me to pick up the coral so it comes up from underneath and crosses over with the garnet. And I'm knitting one stitch, pulling firmly again as I've crossed over. Okay. Then it's increase into each of the next two stitches, so that's 
into the front, straight into the back, into the front, straight into the back. Then it's knit two using coral. Okay, almost, I think, almost halfway there. Okay, deep breath and continue on. So this color garnet here, which I don't need anymore, I'm going to put to this side again of the this side here of the needle. Okay, so next is turquoise. So here we go, here's the next turquoise bobbin. So again, coral over to the left, pick up your next bobbin, bring it round to the front because we're purling, so it's crossed on the back, brought round to the front, and then you're purling one, two, three. Okay, yarn to the back, needle into next stitch. Now I've just finished with the coral, so I'm going to put the coral over this side out of the way. It makes the, the yarns, it makes it easier to see the next yarns which I, I need to use, the ones that haven't been worked yet on this row. Okay, so we are knitting one sulfur. Again, pull on both yarns there, the turquoise and the sulfur to make sure that join is really neat. Then it's increase into once into each of the next stitches. Okay, right, turquoise now finished with. I'm going to place that over there out of the way. The next yarn is garnet. It's making sure nothing is caught in that crossover apart from what should be, which is just sulfur and garnet. Okay, so sulfur over to the left which enables me to pick up the garnet so it comes over the top again it's purling so you bring the garnet to the front having crossed it with the sulfur at the back and you're purling three okay garnet to the back now just two more to do that's electric green next which is knitted so I'm going to put sulfur over there out of the way these are all not needed anymore leaving me just two more bobbins okay so garnet over to the left pick up electric green so they cross and you're knitting one electric green putting again on the yarns there to make it nice and firm at the colour crossover then it's increase knitwise into the next stitch and the one after that. Okay, and then you're knitting two. And that brings us to the very last crossover of this row so that one's now not needed anymore so my very last bobbin here is turquoise electric green over to the left crossing over with the turquoise which i'm bringing to the front and then purling those last three stitches. 
Okay, right. Let's just turn this all around. Let's sort out these bobbins and take all the bobbins to the back of the work so we can see what's gone on here. So uh, let's have a look. Let's just bring this all around like this. There we go. Now this might look like a bit of a bobbin nightmare, but I do assure you, once you get going with this, it's just these first few rows that are really quite tricky to do to get the cable off the ground. But once you've got going, you will be fine. I'm now going to show you the wrong side row which is row two wrong side again on page 12 of your mail out so that was crossing yarns on a right side row i'm now going to work a row where i'm crossing yarns um, with the wrong side of the work facing towards me instead of the right side so it begins with knit three just make sure you pick up the correct bobbin because you've got several turquoise there and uh, a couple of garnet. Okay, so I've, I've knitted three. I'm bring, I've brought the turquoise round to the front towards me. Needle into next stitch and it's just exactly as intarsia if you have done intarsia before in that you must cross the yarns always on the wrong side of the work. So we're, we're purling here, seven using electric green. Okay, so always pull tightly on the colour chains, change, once you've changed from one colour to another, to try and make sure everything there is as nice and tight and neat as possible. So we're purling seven, That one's used, that one's, we don't need that one anymore, that turquoise, I'm going to put that over there out of the way. Okay, electric green crossed now with garnet. Now we're knitting three garnet, so it's important that you cross your yarn. So electric green just over to the left. So you can pick up the garnet so it comes up from underneath. Take it away from you back between the needles so that you can knit three stitches. And again, once you've knitted that first garnet stitch, pull firmly on both yarns. Just be a little bit careful of felted twig because under a lot of tension, it can snap. So just be very careful of that, but just pull it sort of firmly, but gently. Yarn to the front towards me because I now need to cross it over with the sulphur. So electric green has been used. I'll put that out there, out the way. Okay, sulphur. Can you see that crossing there? Purling seven sulphur. So that's one. Tightening up that colour change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So again, this garnet not needed anymore. That can go there out of the way. Right, next colour change is to turquoise. Okay. So uh, I brought turquoise, turquoise is at the back here. Sorry, sulphur is at the back here. I'm crossing it over with the turquoise yarn. So sulphur over to the left, so you pick up the turquoise and it will then cross with the sulphur, which will stop any gaps between the color changes. Take the yarn back between the needles to knit. Knit three stitches. 
So the crossing over is always taking place on the wrong side of the work. OK, all crosses on the wrong side and then you move the yarn to wherever you need it to be to work the next stitch. OK, so I've brought the yarn back towards me because I need to cross it now with the coral, which is here. And I'm purling seven coral. Turquoise can go over there. All those are used. I don't need those anymore. Okay, so just these ones coming up now. So crossing over with garnet. So coral over to the left, pick up the garnet, take it back between the needles because we are knitting three stitches. So I've crossed over on the back or on the, I should say, the wrong side. And then I've taken the yarn away from me to to, to knit those three stitches, yarn to the front, needle into next stitch, pick up the next bobbin so it comes up from underneath, so I can purl seven stitches using Barbara, almost there. Almost there. Okay, that bobbin I'm chucking over there, out of the way. Leaves me just this one last bobbin here in turquoise. So, last crossover then. Barbara over to the left, pick up the turquoise yarn. Take the turquoise to the back and knit three, pulling nice and firmly on Barbara and on turquoise to just make sure those colour changes are neat. Okay, so there's the back of the work. Starting to look a little bit more organised now. I'm just going to flick all my bobbins round so they're on the, towards me at the moment on the wrong side. So as I carefully turn that around, you can see Oops, bobbin's the wrong way. You can see there, and that one's got it got looped over the needle. Let's just get them looking nice and neat. Okay, here we go. If we look at that then, all your colours are set up ready. You've completed your increase row and you're now ready to commence with row three of the pattern, which is when you could also, if you prefer, work from the chart on page 12.